Hello, welcome to my channel. Friends of here. Okay, hello, Eve. Hello, Monique. Hello, Lucas. Hello, Patricia, Linda, Ian, Shodari, Colin, Michael. Hello. Today, I'm going to uh, share with you one exercise. It's kind of a combination between one of maybe the things that I used to draw a lot when I was a student. I'm going to paste the face here. I'm going to start first with this uh, soft pit pastel. Okay. Uh, let me see the center line of the face around here. And the top is around here, the bottom here. The face is going to be around here, the eyes here. Okay, one of the things uh, I used to draw a lot, I used to draw a lot when I was a student, is those faces made of so many planes. Uh, I think it's, uh, they are called uh, faceted heads. And I'll try to do that with this face. I'm going to draw first, like just trying to draw the planes of the face. And then I'm going to start just adding color on top of this. Uh, I say that this is one of the things that I do. I used to practice a lot because. I mean, it was so difficult. It was really frustrating for me when I was a student because it's not easy, okay? And every time that I used to draw these faces, uh, if I miss some angle, I mean, it's like building a, I don't know, a, this, a castle so fragile and you miss a piece and it just fall down. It's something like that. And uh, I mean, on this plane here, there is a plane here for the top of the nose, another plane for the side of the nose, and another plane for the bottom of the nose, OK? The whole face, you can simplify to something like, like this. Just one big plane here, another big plane here, and then another plane here. Okay, that means here uh, we are going to paint on top of this with colors, and after that, I'm going to blend, okay, to create the transition. I mean, there's going to be another three planes here for this part, three planes for the upper lid, and a couple of planes for the lower lid. It's going to be the same here, one plane here, and one, two, Okay. Now to draw this, I'm just following simple rules. I'm trying to keep the eyes here, okay, from the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, gonna be the same to the bottom of the chin. Uh, for drawing this, you don't even need to see the image. I mean, then drawing any any. I don't even pay attention that much to that much to the image, but I mean, at some point I'm just gonna look the image a lot because I wanna copy here. You know that we want to always copy the likeness. But right now I'm telling this because uh, you need to practice with one method to improve a lot on this. This is the Lumis method, so simple. But if you practice the Lumis method, you. you're I mean, you want to see that it's just about drawing by memory, okay? It's not about copy. Uh, you can split the upper lip in three planes, something like this, and the lower lip. I mean, there are so many faceted heads. Some of them ha has more planes, some of them less planes because uh, it's like everything. I mean, there are, I mean, some of them are simple, so another one, another ones are more complicated. You choose any one you, any one you feel comfortable drawing. Okay. Now it's going to be the same here. Okay, 
I have the face just like that. Uh, I, I'm simplifying a lot. I remember when I used to, to draw this, uh, the, the sculptures, because they are sculptures in the School of Art. They have a lot of plane here, something like this. A lot of things here. I hear a lot, a lot. I mean, that, that was too much. But the challenge about drawing this is just to get right the angle of this. And that's kind of difficult. Right now, I did it just like this because I make something simple. And uh, believe it or not, I mean, if when you copy something that is more complex, obviously it's going to take you more time to get it right. Yes, but when you draw something, let's say half for an image and half for memory, it's like like you feel more secure to throw that, to throw the information here and put it the way you want. Okay, let me see something. The mouth is like that. The eyes are like are like that. You see, or the mouth is tilted in. Okay, it should be like that. Okay. Now I'm going to paint. For painting, I'm going to prepare something really simple, an orange. That would be, this is gonna be the local color, let's say. Imagine that you're painting um, anything. Uh, but the simple thing to paint is always an apple. Then you wanna mix for the local color. Okay, you wanna add a little bit of white and blue, white, blue and gray down this orange that's going to be my local color okay okay I'm trying to see that i think that's going to be okay okay from here I'm going to, I'm going to mix more paint, okay? I'm going to see the comments in a minute to see if you have any question. You know, while I'm painting, I cannot see at the same time the painting and, the, and my screen. Okay, now I'm going to create from here one lighter value here. And I'm going to use another brush. And here, one darker value. That is gonna be making a darker orange. Okay. That's gonna be for, let's say dark, mid-tone, shadow, mid-tone, and light. Okay. It's gonna be good for a beginning. Now, let's see. I'm gonna use this here. I think it's too orangey. I'm gonna just tone down this a little bit more. More blue, more white. Little by little, okay? If you feel that this color is going to the green side, you add red. If it's going to the purple side, you add yellow. Okay. No. We one plane. Another plane. It's gonna be the mid tone here. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. We use this here. Now for this, I mean, I'm, I'm just following the image, following the light, how how light, I mean, creates the form here. I 
have this one, this lighter, to lighten up, make it a little bit darker. You know, this is just orange, blue, and white. Okay. Now let's say I have shadow here. I'm gonna have light here. This value here. After doing this, all the planes, I want to try to get uh, to paint here. Let me try to capture her. here. This should be a little bit lighter. I'm going to create more. I mean, three, three values is not enough. See the comments in a minute. Okay. Okay. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Patty. Thank you. Uh, hello, Joyce. Vinny. Uh, let me see. Uh, hello, Colin. Hello, Michael. Hello, Sapna. Ecluso, Rosie. Hello, Jane. Oh, uh, no, pastel. No, no, this is not pastel. <laughs> it was the beginning. It was, it was for just for the drawing. This is oil, oil paint. Okay, no, this is our, our synthetic brushes. Okay, somebody's asking me for the brushes. This is just some exercise I used to, I just wanted, wanted to share with you. I mean, this is a combination because this is, this thing is about drawing mostly. I mean, I I, I think I, I just painted this uh, faceted faces maybe once. I draw them a hundred times. Okay. Uh, now I'm trying to, because trying to do a combination between drawing and, and painting. I mean, we practiced this uh, previous to to paint a portrait. Okay, we practice a lot, a lot of this to understand how uh, are the planes of the face and how they change from light to shadow. Yes, and mm -hmm. it's kind of easy just to uh, start to understand the volume of the face when we practice this. And I'm simplifying a lot, but like I told you, you're gonna find so many of these uh, sculptures or faceted faces in Google. Choose the simple ones. You don't need to, I mean, be overwhelmed 
with so many planes. I'm choosing a simple one now. Uh, I have one image here. I couldn't print it. And I mean, the image is not in the same position, but that gives me an idea of the planes. Because you know that this is an, an exercise for me. And uh, when I, I did these drawings when I was a student, I mean, all of them were really complicated with a lot of planes which I think it was really good for my formation, yes. And I gotta repeat, really, really frustrating because these particular faces, uh, sculpture are, are, are really difficult to capture. Okay. Mixing more paint. I need to make this a little bit darker. Now, if you wanna practice even uh, adding color, you can start just even thinking here that this is gonna be, let's say the neutral color, this is gonna be cooler or warmer, and the same from here, cooler or warmer. And you can start just the portrait just thinking about that. I didn't do that because I just wanted to keep it simple. It depends on your own level huh? and what you want to do. Somebody's asking me if you're painting a big portrait, how you keep proportion? I do a measure. It's just about measure. I mean, proportion is not it's, it's not like a big deal. You can take a ruler and measure from here to here. Is the same here. If you measure from here and if you have the chin here, obviously you need to reduce that. Okay? Or if you measure from here to here and here the, the eyebrow is here, that's a mistake. Okay, that's normal proportion. Then then you you adjust the proportions to your model to fit with the same proportion to, to your model. Okay, now I think that's enough. I'm trying to see your face, this space. I'm gonna adjust that little by little. I should, I think, move this plane more to the right. Okay, I'm gonna do this color a little bit lighter.
Okay. Now, let's blend this and try to make, to bring this to looks like a real person. Okay, I'm stepping back just want to see it a little bit. I'm going to see the questions. Hello, Rocio. Fiona. Where are we at with this video? Okay. We are at the beginning. Hello, Terry. How do you prepare the canvas? Three layers of gesso and one layer of gray acrylic. Okay, let's blend. Okay, you go back and forth like this, and then you go like this. Okay. Now here, or well, even you can go just like this, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Little by little. And you start just to get in this transition. Or just like this. And then again. Okay, and you get the transition. Here again. Okay. I'll repeat here. Really soft. Not it's not always soft. I mean, we I change the pressure on the brush depending is if I see that maybe in this area I don't have too much paint and I need to press more to make the blending. If I see that that's okay, I just go on the air without pressuring too much. I mean, uh, that's, uh, you gotta take, uh, you gotta do that depending on your own painting. If you apply a lot of paint or less paint, Now uh, here I'm following just the sh the shape. It's following the form of the nose. Okay, so it's starting to look more human. Next time, I'm gonna try just looking for an image. I mean, no, as a, as a person, just with those faceted faces, heads, sorry, and start painting one of those the same way and make it a human being. That would be a good practice. But you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that for my patrons. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Now, now, now this uh, thing about planes, uh, of course, helps to understand volume. You see, it will be so clear that here in this part of the face, there is a plane, and here there is a change. That's why we have light here and shadow here. Okay. Okay, let's paint the hair to make it look, look more human. I mean, right now, it's so simple. Just one color, three values. And I, mean, I have this that I think is really okay for this stage. Okay. And using a little bit of linseed oil. Uh, you know, I, I use linseed oil and turpentine. I just so bored to repeat the same all the time. I mean, every time that I say linseed oil, you know that I use linseed oil and turpentine, okay? If you're new to the channel, so sorry. <laughs> so sorry, you wouldn't know. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes because now I gotta see. I mean, you see the forehead is too big. Mm. Okay. Now you see something, you can just by pressure to this and just changing the pressure you blend with the same brush. You can do it again, and you blend. Okay. Okay, 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 I'm stepping back now. I'm going to draw the face. You know that uh, I treat painting like I was making a sculpture. And I, I, obviously I did some sculpture. Maybe that's, that's the reason that I have that habit. Okay, and I need to see something first. Something like this. And then I can draw on top of this, okay? That's gonna be easier. I'm gonna take this color, black. I'm not saying that that's the only way to draw for me. Sometimes I just start with a linear drawing on white canvas. Okay. But mostly I use this method because, I mean, I feel that that works, this works, works for me. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's squint our eyes. Let's see. Now here it comes this thing about thinking about the corner of the eye and a triangle here and here to get the likeness because I gotta work on that. Tracing a light from the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth. See if that from the corner of the mouse up, it's kind of, uh, it gets 
with uh, I don't know, not so sure, but let's say that we can align here up the corner of the mouth with the tear duct. Okay, let's work on this side. This is more side of the face, okay? Okay. Now, when I work on the eye, I usually see from the top of the brow and the bottom of the eye. Okay, and then I see inside here. Here's the same. I'm squinting my eyes, I see all this shape. Okay. Sometimes I prefer use your simple shapes, geometrical shapes. And sometimes I just, I can go like this, following like more than organic shapes, you see? Okay, it's up to you. Do whatever you want. The idea is just to try to get the eyes in the nose in the right position. Obviously, I'm going to spend more time here because here is where we have more information than here and here, of course. Okay. I squint my eyes. Now I'm paying attention to this shadow. This shadow. Let's say I'm drawing the shadows right now with values. Okay, uh, let me see the questions. May I ask you, can you paint some days, Carl Johansson? Okay, yes, of course. Patty uh, Brahansen, I've been thinking. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Michael. So sorry, I didn't read the Patty. Uh, Comment here, he was just too long. <laughs> okay. Corner of the mouth to the pupil. The pupil, uh, no, to the tear duct, I think. Oh, this one, it could be to the pupil, yeah? Trace a line here. It could be. Okay. Let's continue. Continue painting. Nothing interesting in the comments. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just kidding. Okay. Again, I'm squinting my eyes. I'm gonna move this eyebrow a little bit up. Now with this one, I'm gonna draw here, this clear. No, 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 not yet. Squinting my eyes. That's okay, that's okay, I think that's okay. I think I'm gonna move the mouth, the mouth a little bit up. Now I'm going to squint my eyes, I'm going to choose another image that I have here on my computer. It's a bigger image. You know that I have, uh, at least I need to three, four images. Maybe this, this one, I have a bigger one to my left. Sometimes, sometimes I have one in my cell phone. Not usually, but sometimes. And definitely I have one here on my computer in my monitor to see details. Okay. Well, 
I'm gonna add more white, a little bit of yellow and red. I'm just making this color a little bit warmer, okay? You better think, I'm gonna be just add white for what? To make it lighter? It's not just about making it lighter, I mean, you better think about, I'm gonna make it cooler, I'm gonna make it warmer, I'm gonna make it grayer. Okay, I squint my eyes. Now that uh, I told you first that uh, after doing some linear drawing, I start drawing the sh uh, following the the, the, sh the shapes of the shadows, like this, 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 this. I'm squinting my eyes and just doing this like it was a linear drawing, or obviously it's not. Now I'm gonna do the same with the lights, like here. Should be a little bit lighter. Light here. This light is kind of a triangle. Light here and here. Okay. Now I'm squinting my eyes, and it's not about just I'm just watching this part of the fade the chin to do do this. Uh, you see that I've been doing this, 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 and jumping, following that. I'm trying to see from this triangle here to here, which is gonna be the distance from here to here. Okay, if I see this is around here, I'm gonna say, okay, that's that's not okay. Yeah. It's gonna be the same here, here, and here. If you wanna get close to the likeness, I mean as I want. You gotta pay attention to all of that. It's not about just throwing the lights, throwing the shadow. You gotta draw with that. Let me step back a little bit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now Too big. Okay, that's enough for now. Now I gotta think about color because I know I'm gonna just stay drawing. I'm gonna continue drawing and drawing. I mean, paying attention to the drawing aspect of the painting. Okay, using uh, watching this triangle here always see uh, if the corner of the mouse, if I trace a line up, it's going, it's, it going to sit with the tear duct and all of that. It's going to be just, I'm going to do that during the, the, the whole process. That means there's no reason for me to continue explaining that now. I'm going to just think about color. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna see if I decide to make any change, like, I don't know, whatever you want to do, maybe you can make the shadow more cooler, lighter, you wanna add more contrast, less contrast, okay, uh, anything you want. Uh, anything that you decide to do, you gotta be able to control it, okay? Let's see that oh, this is too dark. And you shouldn't be afraid to try anything. Okay. Let's see. Let's say that I decided to go with this more cooler bluish shadow. If you decide any color. You need, to, you need to make it work, okay? You, you need to live here, be in harmony with the other colors. If that doesn't work, you just change the, change the color and add, add another color on top of this. Okay, I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it in the next 20 minutes, but right now I like it. Okay. If I had that shadow there, not so sure if, if I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, not so sure. That means that maybe I can go warmer with the lights. Oh, I didn't say the colors, eh? I mean, titanium white, uh, which is one? Chrome yellow hue, cadmium red, permanent alizarin crimson, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. Okay. Let's make an orange here, strongest orange, a more saturated orange. By adding a little bit of liquid oil. Medium. Okay. I'm still drawing. I mean, I'm doing this, but I'm not drawing. I'm just watching this part of the face, and I feel like I need to make. A little bit. Oh, that's not right. Okay, well, let's continue. Okay, what do you think is gonna work or not? I mean, you know that, I mean, I'm still drawing, 
doing this and drawing, okay? And if I don't like the color, I'm gonna change it, okay? I mean, there is no way that just to think what is going to happen if I add this color or if I add this one. Okay, you gotta do it. If it come, uh, comes out horrible, sorry for you, you gotta do it again. I mean, that's the only way. I mean, that's, there's no other way. I mean, it's, um, because I remember that sometimes when well, a student asked me, what should I do this here? I add this dark shadow. I mean, I mean, the, the answer was kind of obvious. It was, yes, I mean, there's no other way to do it. I mean, what is, is going to be wrong? What is I, if I mess, I messed up the painting? Sometimes, I mean, there's no way to know. Okay, let's work on her face again. Just looking for my blending brush. this work on details again okay just work here again I do know that there is a link to the image in the description box and you can find a link at my Patreon account if you want to support my channel and if you want to paint along with me Saturdays or Sundays And there is some affiliate links. If you want to buy your materials using my links. Okay. More red every time that I get close to the tear duck. So you can use this color to the nostril and to the nose in general because the nose should be more reddish. 
Now in this case, I'm gonna just add more reddish to just one side of the nose because that blue side is uh, in shadow. Let's see. I mean, here is gonna I'm gonna try to get the balance and work in both both sides. Let's say and add more warm color here and here and a little bit here. Okay. Like pushing and pulling from one side to the other side until I feel that I'm getting the balance. I mean, there is no other way to do it. I'm gonna grade down this blue a little bit. It's too red. I know that, but I'm gonna leave it there because I mean I need to work, continue working. And I just I'll be back to connect that. It looks too red right now, but I mean one another thing is I, I didn't paint the mouth, the lips yet. Maybe when I paint the lips, I mean which are gonna be reddish. I'm gonna be even more reddish than this, than the nose. Maybe because of the, the presence of this red, I won't see the reddish of the nose. Glycerin crimson and black. A little bit of cadmium red, black again. Uh, somebody's asking me if, oh, okay, if, uh, this is my blending brush, uh, if was asking me to show my blending brush. It says Aris brush. I have another, another one. You know that this, all of these ones, and another one, and another one. No, I have this. <laughs> all of these ones, they come in a set. They are like, uh, how do you call it when this, something like this? Uh, I don't remember, filbert, I think. I mean the shape of the, the, the brush. It's not flat, it's not round, it's like, and this has a diagonal shape. All of them, they came in just in one set. I think Filbert, yes, Filbert, that's, the, that's, the, that's the, the name of the shape.
Okay, the blue is too light, it doesn't work as a shadow. Need to go back on top of that, a different bluish color. Let's continue working on the eyes again.
Okay, so it's maybe too transparent. I need to darken things a little bit. Work on the nose. The image looks too light. Yes. Maybe it's the position of the camera. It doesn't look that light for me. Okay, that's better. Anyway. I'm going to see the comments. Bien oh. cuadrado. Okay. Ah, uh, esa es la prima weight on weight. Yes. Yes, Filbert, Filbert brushes. Thank you, Eduardo. OK. 
Now we in the comments and just scrolling up to see if I have lost one question. Okay, somebody's asking the difference between flake white and titanium white. Yes, I mean, okay, did I just have a uh, answer that one one is opaque and the other one is transparent yeah I'm reading the comments okay did you use gesso yes I used gesso to prepare my canvas mm. Okay, Handy is asking me, you have a very steady hand. Do you raise your finger on the canvas? Or is your canvas on an easel? My canvas is on an easel, and I, I hold my hand with my other hand. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes I just raise my hand in my other hand. Or I just hold it. I hold it or I rest on top of the other hand. Join his Patreon account. Yeah, Michael. Michael, that's right. Read Michael, please. He's saying it's really important. He's writing the really important things. <laughs> okay, Renzo, today you draw in, you drew in a specific way and technique. Is this way it has a name? Uh, no, no, today just, I mean, I'm sharing with you um, a practice, an exercise about to start just the face just by blocking the planes. Okay, and th this comes for an exercise that I used to to draw to draw when I was a, a student. Uh, this uh, faceted heads. You know, there's a sculpture that has so many planes. I used to draw a lot of a lot of them, and I didn't do that for a long time. And to be honest, I just thought combine both, yes? And that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Let's continue. I worked on, uh, I worked on the eyes, not the nose, not the, now I gotta go on the and work, work on the mouth. I don't like this color. Let's, let's work on that. Somebody's asking me, uh, what kind of paintings are you using? Are you using Winton? 
from Winsor and Newton. Searching, what do I see here? Oh, Okay, uh, okay. Eric is telling that her right eye is a bit deformed on the upside, deformed on the upside. Eyelids are a bit thick. Nose is probably just too early. Too, it's probably too early to say something. Yeah, man, it's too early. <laughs> yes, save it for later. Uh, Rosy Ruiz uh, is telling me if I'm going to leave the, the beautiful rose pinks to compensate for that black blank space that the left lighting creates. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not so sure about, I mean, uh, uh, sometimes I, uh, I mean, we change a lot of things when we, we are in the process of painting. Okay, and that's what definitely I'm going to do. Right now, is for me, it's just about thinking. Uh, 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 you, you see, I'm thinking of drawing and trying to get the likeness, I'm trying to get the brush now to be closer with the eyes right now. Okay, and let me get a little bit, yeah. There is no rush. There is no rush. Just give me a minute and just. Continue working. Okay, okay, I'm stepping back, trying to see values. Here it should be a little bit darker. I mean, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, blue in the shadow, but it doesn't mean that everything is gonna be just blue, blue. I'm using this color here. 
I mean, it's going to be mostly a combination of this blue with the skin color in shadow. Okay.
Okay, you want to see the comments? <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, Amar. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Okay, Carmen Galioto, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's continue painting. Let me see for another some question. from it.
I think I, I had some problems with the audio. Can you hear me? Please let me know somebody if you can hear me okay, please. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, I just uh, uh, having a little uh, problem with my microphone. I think it's move, moving things here to move the cables, plugging in and plugging out to make them, them work. Sorry about that. Now I have to think about this color. I mean, I want to keep blue, but you see that blue here is not working as a shadow. This I'm gonna make it darker. Maybe I can, I'm going to turn this blue to kind of a violet color. Something between those. I mean, I don't want to lose complete, completely the the blue. I want to keep some of them. You know, this thing about painting is just to find the right balance. That's what I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking I, I'm going to add that color and maybe a little bit of red here. You know, this is going to get mixed here in the painting. Okay, I'm gonna keep this a little bit of the, of the red. Mm. More of a brown. Something like a burnt umber here. I'm gonna do the same. No, I'm gonna mix this here. I'm gonna add it here. Let's see if this color works okay. It's too blue. Yeah. 
I'm gonna blend it and I'm gonna add another color on top of this. Try with this color. I need to do the same in this part of the face because this, you see this light blue, it's not working as a shadow. It's too blue. Speaking about color right now and thinking about color right now, but at the same time, we gotta think about the drawing always. I gotta check out proportions. I mean, we gotta just from one uh, minute to the other minute just to try to keep attention on, on everything. I like the pink color, this reddish color here.
Okay, I think the color is better. More pinky. Stepping back, just trying to see of values. I'm gonna mix a dark red here. Okay. Now I need to make this shadow more bigger. I need to make this. I mean, the cast shadow should be just more. Uh, well, you understand me? Yes. I mean, I move moving just a little bit down. Sorry, you know, sometimes I, can, I just cannot explain something. Sometimes I just so focus in what I'm doing and I cannot think about you all anymore. I just so focus on this. No, and adjusting and adding, adding a little bit of uh, dark here, light here, changing values, changing colors. Okay, I I want to uh, get here, but I don't. I, I just want to get this. I don't know how to say it, but I want this feeling that is there is some air atmosphere just around here, around here. Okay, and that's kind of mist. I don't know how to say it dust, whatever you want to say it, I mean, that is, yes. I mean, for me, uh, that creates the illusion that exists something, some space here. It's not something flat. The shadows are not that sharp, that dark. And, but to get that, I mean, this, it takes, it takes time. It takes just to go back and forth, making some parts lighter, darker, 
because sometimes they, this blue didn't work as a shadow and I have to light up that. And sometimes uh, I gotta go back because uh, I make something, I light up those, those, some part and I have to dark, darken that part again and again. Okay, again and again. And I mean, that's, that's what it takes. Try again and again.
Hello. Yes. Hey, my, my sound is not working, okay? I'm gonna do it like this, maybe, for a while, okay? It just, I know that it's working now because I, I see this, uh, this moving. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna stop maybe in a minute. Okay, I, I, I just, uh, I called my son because I don't wanna stop just painting and while I'm painting, maybe without sound, just gonna check out the cables, all of that. Okay. And just yesterday, we was we were speaking with my son about buying a new uh, microphone because I used the microphone for the same camera from the same webcam. It's, it's been working okay, but that usually happened. But anyway, I mean, I will try to finish even without sound because you know that uh, if the sound is not going to work more, maybe I will just make a, sh a short version of this video. I'm going to put some voiceover. Yeah. That could be a good way to have a more professional version. You know that you have the image in the description box. In any case, if you want to paint along. Paint along with the video, of course. Of course. Okay, let's see. I need to add a little light here. Squinting my eyes, trying to see the lightest light here. I mean, the lightest light in this area. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that I'm looking for the highlights.
Okay, I'm back. I mean, the sound is back. <laughs> Okay, I love this yellow here. Mm, let me see if I can put more. Wow, it's too intense. I really love this yellow here. I know if I add this, I mean, I'm not gonna have this. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing about contrast. Yes, because it's too light, the yellow, but Anyway, I just love, I'm going to add a little bit here. No, 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 Arrived. I don't like this one. I like this one. Uh, let me get a little bit of pink. Uh. OK. 
puis Mm. Thinking, thinking right now. I got a little bit of the blue here, blue here, a little bit here. Okay, let's soften this part. Okay, give me a minute. Yeah, that's better. Because of her nose, I think I have painted her before with acrylics. Uh, I didn't realize. To be honest, I didn't realize. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's her. Mm -hmm. Eric said, uh, doesn't, doesn't it take away attention if you use such a lively background color? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I mean, for some reason, I just love this yellow. Okay, I mean, you know, if uh, if you want to exaggerate, maybe violet, purples, you need to add yellow, and maybe that's the reason why I like this one, because this yellow makes more visible this kind of violet colors around here. Okay. Just because of, because of contrast, complementary contrast, okay? 
uh, I don't remember the name of this, uh, but this is kind of a, uh, I don't remember. The point is that, I mean, it's, it's not like I'm keeping all yellow, just one yellow. If you see this yellow, it's really a gray, a gray down yellow. It's not pure yellow, not even this one. I mean, it's not like that vivid color, like, like this. I mean, this is different. You see the difference? I mean, this is different. This is a vivid yellow, okay? This this one is not a vivid yellow. Maybe it, it looks like vivid for the portrait. It looks looks okay for me. I can take uh, take advantage of this yellow and add more yellow to the face, to the highlights. Yes, and this is one way that I remember. Uh, I have learned this. Four years ago, and something. If you want to add a lot of yellow to a face, you make just a lot of yellow in the background, or anything yellow, maybe a cloth, anything. And because of the contrast, we, we you you won't see the yellow on the face. Okay, if you want to add a lot of red to the face, you add something really pure red, maybe anything around the face. And that red on the face is not gonna look that red anymore because of contrast. Okay? Then something is, is the same. I mean, if you wanna add, if, let's say, if you want, uh, if I add something blue, really blue here, blue, like blue, this blue is just gonna get lost. You're, you're not gonna see this blue anymore. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be that intense because of the other blue. Okay, the only thing that I get an advantage by adding this yellow background is the possibility the possibility to add more yellow to the highlights. Okay, but that doesn't mean that I just want to go wild adding yellow. I don't want that. I'm just trying to explain what happens when you work uh, with colors and when you create contrast and how the presence of one intense colors, intense color make the other colors look duller. Okay. Okay. I just want to add some a little bit of maybe pure black here. Yes, here, just a touch. Just there, okay? In this way, I can drive the attention. Of course, the eyes, we don't need to drive attention to the eyes because eyes in a portrait are, are always gonna be the, the focal point. But anyway, if I add more contrast there, I'm just going to exaggerate this, okay? Okay, I'm gonna move the cable. Sound is gonna be off for a minute. Sorry about that.
Okay, the sound is back again. I don't like this, it's too uh, symmetrical. Okay. I think, okay, I think I, I control it, uh, this blue, okay? That was my, my, my first, uh, I was dealing with that, yes, because since I decided to add the blue, it wasn't an, 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 an impulse, and I just wanted to make it work, okay? Because I think it could have been easier just to work with a regular skin color. But since uh, I put myself the challenge with the first brush strokes with this blue, I think a challenge is always welcome. 
that's I mean that's the best way for for us to practice try to solve in things and it's about great balance yes and if, I, I feel really okay with this uh I know that the value is not right but definitely uh, uh, even if I would have changed the color, if I would change the color to a normal skin color, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that dark here or here. I feel this shadow is just not natural. I don't know why. I don't feel that. I don't know. I prefer this. You know that I prefer this because it. I feel more transparency there. Okay, a little bit of more transparency. I feel that some kind of air around here okay i don't know if you can follow me that's maybe an illusion maybe i see that maybe nobody does nobody 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 else see that the same thing but for me something like that i, I mean sometimes i just want to create that illusion i usually want to <laughs> no, that doesn't, i mean sometimes i'm not successful okay let me be back in a minute. I'm going to add some highlights. Okay. I'm always pay attention to this part of the upper eyelid. It should be always remember more reddish because the idea is create transparency here. More lighter and reddish. Well, I think it should be. Uh, no, I think that's okay. I'm going to add some eyelashes. Okay, a little bit here. I don't want to go too dark. You see the eyeball, the iris, it looks transparent. It looks really like a ball. That's really good. I need just to blend this a little bit here. Okay, I just want to create this the same effect with this the, the other eye, uh, iris. OK. 
Okay. Okay, always checking out all the edges. I leave that for the end. I go around the whole painting, just softening edges here and there. I mean, sometimes I just want to keep some some edges edges sharp. Uh, no, I'm, right now, I'm keeping this this edge sharp. That would be okay because it can, the contrast is really good there. Oh, well, maybe. But let's see if I just. Hmm. I don't know. My first thought. It was just to leave it sharp. Just having second thought. No. That's okay. Mm-hmm.
Okay, I think that's it. Mm. I mean, mm, yeah, that's it. Even uh, this effect here, it creates on, uh, you see, here is blur and here is sharp. Okay. That uh, that works okay. Yes. One minute, I think I should. I always checking out. At, I mean, right now I'm checking out all over the face. I'm watching here, there, here, there. I'm trying to pay attention to everything at once. Just trying to see values, see color, see if uh, maybe something should be a little bit darker. It should be a little bit lighter. Maybe it's too, some part is too bluish, too reddish. Uh, maybe I should blend a little bit more something. And right now I see here, I feel that I should blend here more. This red with this blue. Okay. Mm, yeah. Could be okay. Now, thinking about uh, the likeness, maybe I should add a little bit of, oh no, I mean the likeness, I mean, you know that that's gonna be always difficult. Trying to make these marks because I see some, I see that on her face. Okay, that's okay. Taking it up and down everywhere, everywhere.
¿Quieres que te acompañe? I was asking my wife if she wants me to go with her because she came, she came to see the kids and she gotta go back to see her mom. And she, I think she's mad at me <laughs> because I told her, do you want me to go with you? She didn't say anything and she slammed the door. That means that's some, could be some sign that, sign that uh, she met, yeah? Maybe not, maybe she's happy. <laughs> Maybe she slammed the door when she's happy. Okay, I think that's it. Three hours. Okay. If you wanna take a beer, that's always a good decision. <laughs> Okay, I'm just watching the comment and just scrolling up the comments. Okay, thank you, Terry. Okay, Terry Morris is saying about the atmospheric. Yes, I mean, that's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, I'm scrolling up for, uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, and see you tomorrow. Okay. Like I always say, you can go now. Okay, don't wait for me. I'm just going to be here a couple of hours. I mean, these things I'm doing now is pretty sure that doesn't make any difference. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I gotta do just something. Just even a tiny little brush stroke to feel that that's okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.
somebody is here saying, Take her, we love her for sharing you with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she want, she wanted me to go with her, yeah. But she knows that I'm kind of stuck here until I finish. And here is like uh, at 5 p.m., at 6 p.m., everything is closed. Nobody can go out to the street. It's a, a totally lockdown. And I mean, at, at 6 p.m., but people usually start closing everything down at 4 p.m., 4, 4.30. There is no cabs. There is no nothing. Yeah. Okay, bye, take care.